In previous videos, we've spent a lot of time looking at this public-facing uh, area of your YouTube channel. So this is largely what viewers will see if they come into your site or your channel. Now we're going to look at how to upload video into this space. Now it is important that if you want the video available to this channel, that you actually be in this channel when you upload it. Transferring between channels um, is not an easy process, so you want to be in the channel where you want the video. Click on Upload. First we'll look at the right side. There's a couple of options over here. One is to import videos from your Google Photos. We're not going to spend a lot of time there. Uh, two is live streaming. This is actually very interesting. If you were to use this feature, you could basically use the webcam on your camera and your microphone to start an instant live show. So uh, interesting, and people are using it to make broadcasts, etc. There's a webcam capture for making a video, so this is another way to turn on that webcam and, and create a video from there. And these, this video editor we're going to get into in more depth later. Also, Photo Slideshow, we'll do a short video just on this. It's a somewhat limited uh, tool in that it only really does one thing, but it's very quick and easy to use, and it does do a nice job of taking uh, photos that you have and creating them as a video. For right now, we're going to look at how to upload files. Notice first that this is set to public. So if you do not want your videos to be searchable in YouTube and to be readily available to anyone, you want to change this. And if that's the case, you want to change it to unlisted. Unlisted would be videos that can basically be seen by anybody that has the link, but they're not going to be included in search results, so they would be very, very hard to find. Or you could actually make them private. Of course, if you do make them private, you have to individually share them with people, which is a pain in the neck if you have to share them with a lot of people. So I'm going to leave it as unlisted, and then I'm going to click on it, and it'll allow me to browse to wherever it is that I've deposited my uh, video files. So maybe here and here. Oh, there you go, video, and there's a bunch of video files in there. So to start with, I could click a single video file and say open, and it will immediately start uploading the video. It's telling me, first of all, um, that it's 0% done, but it's already given me my link. So it's already provided the URL that I'll eventually edit this video on. And now you can see the processing is done, so the video is up there. Um, there are several things that I want to fill out. So I'm on basic information right now. I want to give a title for my video. I'd like to give a brief description. This will appear under the video. Um, but it gives the viewers a little bit of context as to what the video is about. You can see here that it's set to unlisted because I did it previously, but if I'd forgotten, I can change this at any point. I can come in here and, and change it to um, unlisted or private or public if I wanted to. We haven't spoken about playlists yet, but if I did have a number of playlists, I could simply choose that playlist here and immediately add it into that group. And down at the bottom there are tags. So this would make, if, if I'm going to have a public video, something that's searchable, I can include tags here that would help use, help this video to come up depending on what a user searched for. Also, it happened to grab three screenshots or three pictures from within the video, and I can choose one of these if I want as kind of a cover to the video when it's not playing uh, what you would see there. So I think I'll do that. Notice that there are also advanced settings, and in here I can allow people to comment on this, and I can automatically show all my comments, or I can only show approved comments, in which case they would come into a holding area, I would need to approve it, or I could decide I don't want to allow people to comment and turn it off. 
Uh, viewers can view ratings, so you can get a thumbs up or a thumbs down here. If I want viewers to be able to actually see that, I leave it checked, but if it's something I don't want available, I uncheck it. There are a couple of different types of licenses. The standard YouTube license is generally fine. You could also set it as a Creative Commons license, meaning you were giving other people permission to use it, modify it, do whatever they'd like with it, basically, as long as they um, make note that you were the creator of the video. Syndication is not something we're going to deal with. Also, uh, down here, will you allow embedding of this video in other sites? So if someone found this and wanted to include it in their web page, or if you wanted to include it in your own web page, uh, embedded, you're going to have to have this checked if you want that to happen. You can enable an age restriction on this, so that if someone is logged in and is underage, it wouldn't come up in a search. Uh, here's more extensive categories, so I could choose a category to classify this by. Let's say it's an educational video. I can set the language in here if I choose. It's just a way to uh, add information to the video. Recording date. So I could add the recording date by hitting today or I could come in there and I could simply pick the day that it was recorded on. Interesting uh, option over here, video statistics. So as this video is available to people, as people view it, uh, YouTube is going to collect that information and have it in the form of statistics that you can view and learn from, charts, etc. Um, but if you'd like to, if you check this, you can make these statistics available to people on the web as well also. If I don't want that to happen, I uncheck it. Uh, basically, those are the settings that we're going to need to worry about, and then I can click Done. It's going to show me this is the address. I could also just click on a video. It would open in a new tab. And I could use this. I could use this as well. And when I'm done, I can just come back to my channel if I'd like. And now when I look under videos, you can see that that video is in my place. It has one view. And that view was four minutes ago. Clicking on either this video or the link below would open it up in a tab and it would start playing again. So I'm not going to do that right now. Now up to this point we've uh, uploaded a single video, but you can upload multiple videos at one time. Just click the upload button. Browse to um, the area where you have your videos. And then simply click on the first video. You can hold down the shift key and click on the last video, adjacent video. So now I've got all six of these. Or alternately, you could click on a video, hold down the control key, command on a Mac, and simply jump around and click the videos that you want to bring in. When you say open, you'll notice that they just stack below each other, and you are going to be able to fill out this information, this basic and advanced information. Um, about each video. I can say show more and I've got all that information now that I can fill out. And that's great actually because as I'm working it gives me time to upload multiple videos that will that will take a while but I can get all that information um, set in the meantime so I, I don't have to sit and wait. That's basically all there is to uploading a video.